Hi guys, it's me. I'm back again. So today we're going to make Dobby slime with two, three ingredients. With three ingredients, but two ingredients. The third one's optional. So you need a cup, which is isn't really an ingredient, and a spoon, and something to stir. With. That's the things that you need for the cutlery. You will need food colouring, which I don't have. That's why I'm using something else. You'll need flour and water. So first, take your cup, take your flour, pour some in halfway, about halfway, and then with the rest, this is going to be two ways to do it. And then add some more water like this until the top, and then put your stirring thing in, which I'm just using to stir it. Stir it a lot. Stir it for a long, long time. So I'm going to be back when it's stirred. So yeah. Okay guys, so I took a bit of the chunkies out and I've got this. So for the heating thing, you'll need a pan and a stove or a toaster. Heat up the toaster. Oh, sorry. Heat up the toaster after it's heated up. I'm just put this there. After it's heated up, it should be quite warm. So now open it up. Pour about a bit in. It has to be really warm. And then start stirring it. Guys, right, start stirring it. Mine isn't a bit that warm, so mine's not going to really work out. That's why I'm going to turn mine on now. Just keep stirring until it makes dull. Mine's just like getting up on my spoon. And then, since it's hot enough, just turn it off and start doing it. So this should turn on. Mine isn't perfect, so I'm just going to take mine off and do it again. Okay, guys. So, to also add the colour, I'm not using food colour and I'm just using this, which is green and I'm going to kind of give it a little tint. Just adding some of that in. Plus, it'll make it more slimy. Now, stir that up. Yeah. Nice perfect smell. Clean this a bit off. Now I'd suggest every round, round, round. I'm sorry for that noise. Just to clean it off a bit. And now heat it up. So I'm going to be back when it's heated up and I'm going to just keep stirring. The amount, I'm not going to do <laughs> measurements. But that's how much you want. So the toaster's ready so I'm going to just open it up. Get myself a nice spoon to spoon it with so I'm going to put this one back for a minute and I'm going to get myself a nice spoon just take a spoon full and I'm going to turn it off wait a few minutes wait a second or two and then just take my consistency just take my stirring thing pop that on pop as much as I want pop this on yeah. now I'm going to take this and look at that or just do it itself. Yeah. You could always put this back and just use a little knife to just stir it around. I'll just like that. So I gotta use a spoon. Take my spoon and just stir it around. Okay, it's nearly done now. Oh god, it's so hot and let it cool down. Let's just take it in your hand and see if it's need it. It's not really needed enough. Pass it back on and just like warm it all up again. Okay, then just pick it up and let it cool. And after it cools, it'll be like this. It'll be a bit sticky, but it'll be fine. And now I take my knife. I'm just cleaning all of this up because like, I don't want all of that on the thing. I'm cleaning it up again after this with the actual water and stuff. I'm just gonna push that away. And now I'm gonna just pop it all on. Do bits at a time, don't do loads at a time because it won't turn out good. Stirring. There's two ways to do this, and I'm gonna be showing you both. 
Or you could always, on this one, this is the same one, you could just like spread it out and wait a few seconds and then just start kneading it on and just start picking it up. You could always use a pan for this and it'll work the same. No oil, you just heat up the pan, wait a few seconds. So the pan is heated up, which I'm allowed to use the stove, it's allowed to use this to be all virus. I don't kind of ruining it, but still. So now I've got this, so I'm going to just put it back. Okay, and it's kind of already, ah, it's really hot though. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to clean this up again. And I'm just going to do another batch, and I'm going to show it you at the end when it's all cooled ah, down. So yeah. So guys, I've made more, and I've stuck them all together. If you want colour, you could always add the colour now. And if it's a bit too sticky, all you have to do is knead it up more or get yourself some flour. I'm sorry you can't see me, but get yourself some flour. Get yourself some flour. Put it into the flour and be really careful with this. Put it into the flour and knead it near it being honest. Something. So got everywhere. Now So yeah, let me just find that again. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Just put it somewhere. So now it's ew. Now it's nice and neat. If you haven't cooked it fully, it may be a bit, you can leave me alone. It may be a bit weird. So now what are you doing? Something. The other ingredients. Can I touch it? Seven. Guys, for the next year, oh my god, it's going to be the same thing. My spent it. A cup, some flour, some water, it, it feels and so a spoon again. So first, it feels so ooey. Take your flour. This is going to be less sticky, so it's going to be like more like dough. Put this in how, how much you want. God, I've put a bit too much in. It's too squishy. So disgusting. I need to wash my hands. Yeah. I don't want a lot of this. So do that. Get some. Get about one or two teaspoons. That's how much you've got. I've got I'm just putting two teaspoons in. It's nice. Two to three teaspoons. One, two, three. Okay, so now I'm just going to stir that. And this is what's going to happen to it. It's going to stick on. And if that's not good enough, add a bit more water in. This is a really quick one you can do. And then just keep stirring it and then just chuck all the water out and then keep stirring it. And if that's too water, add a bit more flour in. Just a tiny bit. I haven't put that much tiny bit, but still put a little bit. And then keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And then just get it on the sides. Keep stirring. I'll show you guys the last one again. One more time. It's a bit stickier now. Just add some more flour. And then take your other one, it just keeps falling me down. And just do that. Just roll it around. Can you hear the noise? Nope, I can't hear anything, so go away. And then just start kneading it again. No, I can. Just keep kneading it. Can Yes. We just keep serving with all of this. You could just put it back, or you could keep using it. This is temporary. But as I do, I just get myself a lot of this, a lot of flour. Like when I go to the shop, I don't just like, I'm not a normal kid. That's, I'm not a normal kid, like, you know. I go to the shop and buy myself flour when I get money. I like stuff that I'm going to use for DIY, so it's like grub. So I'm going to put that back. I'm going to keep stirring it until it's not liquid anymore. Now I'm going to take it off. It looks quiet, quite quiet. It looks quite, quite quiet. It's gonna be 10 minutes video. 10, 20. No, not, not really 20. <laughs> 15. So, there. So sticky. 
Now I'm going to twirl it over, put all of this in there, and then stir it with the back of it. And now I think it's quite ready. If you've always had food for colour into this while you're stirring it, and then just blob it down. And now pick it up, start stirring it in your hands. This will be quite messy. Add some more of your powder. Oh, you'll need a lot of powder for this. Powder, that, that kind of powder. I mean, I'll even show you what I was using in this DIY, so you don't just like powder. I know, I've had powder, I'm going to use flour. I've got strong white bread. Wow. Okay. No, no. I'm going to try and sit. Just play it all over the floor. Don't do this near your floor. Oh, yeah, near your counter. Just stop the bit in there. Do it like on a desk or something, or something that you're okay with getting you into. Now, your hands will be really dirty in the process of this. Ugh. Uh, now, this is making dough, but this is also play dough. Like the burning part, the burning one, where you like actually spin it up to make it like all sticky together and stuff. So that's like a completely different story. You can make a cake by doing that. Okay, so I've got my dough. You can make pizza from this. You could should just make pizza from this. You could just like roll it up. Hashtag baking with Laura. So then you just take this. You take it down, and you make it into a ball, and you've got pizza. If it's too sticky, you just like stick it on more. <sighs> Could I get you on more flour? Then just put it on the side, and then wash your hands. <laughs> or you could do this with your hands, and it also gets it off a bit. So I'm going to just wash my hands away. I'll wet your hands, and start scrubbing, and then they'll be a little easier to come off. Just like this. So yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys both of the slides. I thought we'd stop the video. <laughs> God, guys. So this is the burning one where I burned it up. You can see that it's a lot darker. Mold it up. Oh, darker. It's been burned up, maybe. And there's this one. You could also use this one for clean, to clean your floor. And this one's more slimy. Because, like, unless you use a lot of flour, which I haven't got that much because I've used it on too many DIYs, trying this out. So these both work. They're both dough. And they're both slimy, I guess. If you just want to, like, what I'm doing is I'm getting a balloon. And in my next DIY, can't, don't know when that is, but in my next DIY, right, I'm going to take this. Oh god, I'm going to take this and take this, make more of each one of them. Yeah, this one doesn't really stick to your mother. This one's just like, ah, I want to stick, but then you just like take it off and then you just like mold it in your hands. It's like you black, it's like all sticking to your hands when you don't move it around. When you just like, eh. but I always start moving it around, it just picks everything up. So, yeah, I'm going to put these into balloons in my next DIY, which is going to be, like, any time. And I'm not going to, like, you know, post videos every day because that's too much work. Four times, five times a week, that's what I'm going to do. God, so sticky. Yeah. <sighs> so, I'm going to stop playing with this now. Put them both back. I'm going to put these both into balloons and have, like, nice pressy balls because like, it sticks to your hands too much it's not like I'm going to take it to school and write with the ink because we're allowed we just wipe it on the pants so guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this DIY out because it's sick I like this one this one less I like this one more so like, look at the colours okay so hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you like this and get ready to just get this <laughs> don't forget to get, give this video a thumbs up okay a thumbs up god and don't forget to subscribe and to comment down below what you thought about this video and if you're going to make this or not because it's really easy to do you need two or three ingredients actual ingredients so most people have cup a cup and a spoon at their house or more nearly everyone so 
people say that. And um, nearly everyone has water and flour at their house. So. I said daily everyone, so don't be like, oh, what about homeless people? They don't have it. Okay, guys. <gasps> Bye. <laughs>